form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hello and welcome to another Form Affinity video, guys. Um, I am just checking out the new Blender 2.90 Alpha. Uh, so I just downloaded this. Um, I have not tried the config on it yet, so this is going to be both a reaction to uh, 2.9 and also see how the config behaves in there. Um, so see if it breaks the config or not. Um, so as you can see, I've got, you know, it all installed um, except for the key map. So let's go ahead and do that now, 2.9. Um, so we want, what do we want? Key map. Import. Okay. Um, so it looks like our QWER is working. Are these new? Um, so the nice thing about the Blender Builds website is they give you uh, new features and changes page. Uh, we can just go to 2.90. So as you can see, we've got a user interface. Um, so the layout has changed a little bit. It looks like they've just sort of um, consolidated some things and cleaned things up a little bit. Um, so there's some, you know, socket colors for the material properties and whatnot. Um, a few different things you can uh, check out in there. Oh, this is exciting, the, the stack interface for the um, modifiers tab. Um, and also there's some new uh, modeling features which I wanna check out. So let's see. As far as the config goes, um, it appears that everything is working. Um, let's see. So far, that's good. Um, Let's check out this uh, new modifier thing. So if we do, uh, what can we do? Um, I don't know, a couple bevels on there maybe. And then a subdivision surface. So this is what's new here is you can just, instead of those little arrows that you had, for moving these up and down, which was annoying. You can just grab this and it's all dynamic. Very cool. That makes it way easier. Um, so that's cool. Uh, the other exciting new feature in modeling is this interactive, um, primitive tool here. Uh, if we go to, I guess we'll just do start with a box here. Um, you can just drag out. This reminds me of 3D Studio Max a little bit. Um, so that is very cool. Uh, I think we can Yeah, I think we can actually build this off of off of other objects. So if we go to 
add cylinder here. That's interesting. If you hold down shift, I think it will, yeah, it retains, you know, your circular. So if you don't hold it, hold down shift, you get sort of this oblong shape. So that's very cool. Um, what else do we have in 2.9? So, oh, uh, there's some new sculpt features. Um, that pose brush with the FK. I've seen that. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but that's uh, some exciting stuff if you're doing a lot of sculpting. Um, some grease pencil. What does cycles have in there? Optic Optics is now supported on NVIDIA GPUs. Um, uh, the sky texture. The new sky texture is an improved version of the Nishit single scattering sky model and it accounts for altitude change as well as ozone absorption um, huh that is cool um, what is this though Simulating colors of the sky. Atmospheric scattering. So atmospheric scattering is like your blue light scattering, I'm assuming. Um, so that's what makes the sky blue. Um, rally scattering, my scattering, sky color. Um, sun component with limb darkening effect. So here's a comparison. So this is the old one, this is the new one. So yeah, you can see <laughs> that on the right is way better. So this is a cycles feature. Let's see, we go to cycles. Um, I have no idea where that's at. Uh, would it be under color management? I have sun here. Um, anyways, I'll have to dig into that and do perhaps another video on that. But um, that's pretty exciting. I will definitely be playing around with that. Um, so cool I think there's probably so this is still an alpha there's probably still more to come with this this build um, and I haven't I haven't done an in-depth um, you know config test for 2.9 but it appears to be working, so if you guys want to mess with it, um, you know, feel free. Oh, I'm still on that tool. That's cool. Um, so yeah, w once it turns uh, to beta, I will probably assign maybe a hotkey for these. I'll have to see. But once it turns beta, I will um, make sure things are running smoothly with the config um, for 2.9. But it appears to be working pretty well right out the gate. So that's very cool. Anyways, um, I just want to take a quick look at that. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Take care.